hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we have an interesting video now i have the sport in here this thing apparently is called the eco sport and this thing was towed into the shop now the backstory that i got on this is the customer uh, towed it in and they said this thing tried going off-road and wound up damaging itself now i don't know exactly who took it off-road or what the scenario is here but that's the info i was given and I kind of dug into it a little bit before we started making this video, guys. So we do have a couple missing pieces here, like the battery and the air box and a few things like brackets that should be there. They're all right here. Now, the reason why I had to dig in deep there is because I wanted to verify what broke here. And you can see our transmission mount is broken. That's why our engine is sitting sideways. Uh, if you guys will look at the pitch of the engine. Now, I don't know how, what kind of angle to get this in, but you guys can see it's kind of going down this way it's not straight it should be like this it's actually sitting at this angle so there's three things that got damaged here now the initial the initial point here is on the bottom side where it got struck we have a leak we have a broken trans mount and if you guys can kind of see in here and i don't know how well the camera will pick it up there's a bunch of grease down there we also have a bad axle now we're gonna go ahead and lift the car up and I'll show you guys the damages from underneath. So we are underneath this car now guys and we are looking at the bumper and you'll notice that where your bumper ends you shouldn't have anything hanging off and we have the transmission hanging. Now the reason why we're hanging is the transmission mount you guys saw up top it's pretty much destroyed. But the way that this thing all came to breaking down is quite simple. If you guys look right here when they hopped the curb and they went off-roading air quotations uh, they smacked the transmission right here in the corner they actually broke this pump that is supposed to basically flow fluid through the transmission you guys won't see it really good but it kind of cracked the casing right about here and it's dripping out from there as you guys can see all over the floor i have a little pickup pad and it's dripping uh, you guys kind of follow it right here at this bolt is where we are leaking uh, see there's a drop right there so they cracked the casing on that that's leaking we're gonna have to replace this that's not a big deal um, when the transmission mount gave out after they hit this corner and they broke the transmission mount when everything dropped you guys can see that they actually broke their axle and they just didn't care to stop guys they just kept going as you guys can see this frame has grease all over it they twisted their axle up pretty good and the reason why the axle broke is because everything dropped it's not being held in its proper place so the transmission can kind of move back and forward and that just basically broke the axle so this car pretty much damaged itself pretty good just because uh you know they took the literal four-wheel drive term and they decided to hop a curb and you know this is what happens guys now i can't really say anything about this because i'm getting paid to fix this thing but you know Four-wheel drive doesn't necessarily mean always four-wheel drive, especially when you have a car that is super, super tiny. Just to give you guys a visual reference, like I said, um, this is the first time I heard of one of these models, and you guys can see this thing is fairly small. It's on my truck rack, and it barely fits. When I had to spot it on my spotting dish here, I had to actually put it farther back because if I put it directly on the dish, I can't even get the lift arms underneath it. Um, I guess in comparison, this is like a Nissan Juke or one of those smaller CUVs or SUVs, if you want to call it that. So either way, guys, I thought I'd make this video, just kind of show you guys what uh, people do nowadays as far as on the level of idiotic. So there you have it, guys. That's all the damage that has been caused to this Ford EcoSport because the customer or whoever was driving it at the time decided to take this sturdy off-road rig over a cement barrier that was probably about two or three inches tall and wound up causing all this damage on the car. As you guys can see, uh, real four wheel drive here, guys. This is uh, probably the absolute best scenario and you know example of you know engineering hype and manufacturing hype mixed with really good advertising makes people do stuff like this. Because I really do think from talking to this customer that he really believed this car would make it and that it's a true four by four. Um, and that's not, that's complete failure. Um, this is the first time I've seen one of these, uh, even though this is a 2018 model, I guess these aren't popular here. When this initially showed up on the tow truck, I thought it was a Ford Escape, guys, and clearly it's not. It's an EcoSport. Uh, they told me that these are not popular here in the Midwest, so all the parts, everything has to come out of the power plant or the plant that makes them. So everything's coming out of uh, Detroit or wherever Ford parts are made nowadays, probably Mexico or China. 
I don't know, a lot of these things come from all over the place. They're not really made in America anymore. So either way, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video just to show you guys on what happens when manufacturers put out phrases and words out there. And, uh, they list out capabilities for cars and trucks uh, that aren't necessarily true. This thing is just a really nice crossover. I would consider this to be something like a Nissan Juke or one of those smaller SUVs. Uh, this is not a true 4x4 off-roading car, guys. So anyway, uh, just wanted to throw this out there. You guys may find it interesting. I know I certainly did. I kind of had a laugh at this one, and uh, I don't mean that in the customer's uh, side. You know, like, I just had to laugh at the fact that, you know, someone really took this thing off-roading because it's not. And one thing to show you guys that I just kind of noticed, you can actually see all the stuff. Um, so who knows what the story is on it. But all I know is that it's here, and we got to fix it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It'll definitely have the channel grow. And I'll catch you guys on the next repair. And until then, hope you guys have a wonderful day.